Along with New Year's Eve, the 4th of July sees the highest amount of irresponsible gun use, according to ShotSpotter. One Missouri mom knows the pain celebratory gunfire can cause all too well and has used that pain to advocate for change. Our Missouri Capitol reporter, Hannah Falcon, spoke with her about a bill that now sits on the governor's desk. It's been a long time coming, but after over a decade of trying to ban celebratory gunfire, the governor is expected to take action on a bill that would do just that very soon. An American flag drapes over the Missouri Capitol as Jefferson City prepares to celebrate the 4th of July. But for Michelle Shanahan DeMoss, this day is a reminder of what she lost. The, just like you hear the clock ticking in our house, it's like there's no you know, person slamming through the door or calling me. People's like a thief came in the night, took Blair from this world, but it took a big part of who I am. Blair Shanahan Lane was killed by celebratory gunfire over a decade ago. After years of her advocacy, the Missouri legislator voted to make celebratory gunfire illegal. I guess that just speaks to how long it takes for some bipartisan legislation to get passed. Now the finish line is in sight, as the governor's office tells me he will take action on the bill next week. Governor Mike Person said he supports Blair's law. I started it and, and I have every intention to finish it. Reporting in Jefferson City, Hannah Falcon, KY3 News. And Blair's law is part of an expansive crime package that also includes Valentine's law, which would increase penalties for driving away from law enforcement. Sharp tells us there are parts of that provision that he hopes to improve on in the future.